Nolan. Okay, listen to me. I, I need your help, like, bad, bad. Like, okay. so I'm brand registered. I've got my listing images. Yeah. I just don't know how to make my A-plus content. What do I do? Okay, D Dave, just relax. So you're brand registered and you have your main images. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, just calm down. I can definitely help you with that. Why don't I show you and the people at home on how you can actually create A-plus content? All right, let's get started. Hey, Amazon sellers, I'm Nolan, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can create your own A-plus content at home for free. So you can actually do this within about an hour or two using Canva, which is a free graphic design tool that's really easy to use. I'm not gonna get into what A-plus content is or the benefits of it because I've done blogs and videos on it before, so I'll link that below because I wanna dive right into this stuff right now. This video is actually gonna be a continuation video of one that I did just really recently about how you can do your own DIY product images at home. So I'm gonna use the same product, which is this old vintage camera, and use the pictures that I took already. So now let's jump on Canva and see how we can create our own a content. All right, so let's start with the first module, which usually includes your brand logo. All right, so we're gonna start by putting in 600 by 180 pixels. And then I chose this background as it adds a bit more dynamic than just having a plain white background. I then uploaded my brand logo, which is Canon because it's the camera, and then added a subheading. So this is probably where you'd add your slogan. I then decided to just kind of resize it and put it uh, centered with my brand logo. The next thing I did was I took the shapes and I took a square and you can actually resize the square to pretty much be whatever shape you want. There's also circles and such. And then I changed it to colors that I'm gonna have consistent uh, with the rest of my banners. As well, you can see I'm adjusting the angle and Canva really helps you to get the right angle there. And I just copied it over so that it, there's a little bit of something on both ends. Then I just export it as a JPEG and it should be done. Here's the banner. In the video, we did do the subheading or slogan rather, but I just wanted to show kind of the finished product that we'll be using moving forward. All right, on to the next module. All right, so let's get this first banner going that isn't our logo banner. The next thing I'm going to do is add some bullet points, highlighting the main features of the product. Another simple but effective technique that you can use is to use alternating colors with the text and it can just add attractiveness to the overall image, make it a little more interesting. All right, so that's looking good, but let's use a little bit of the shape and just add a little bit more to the top right corner. Again, we're gonna tilt it and make sure it's at a normal degree that looks good and consistent with what we've already made. So we're also gonna change the color and we can add this secondary line as well. Just make sure the degrees are relatively the same. And that looks pretty good, so we can just make some final adjustments if we want to take up a bit more of the space but that looks pretty good so we can export it as a jpeg and that's good and now that that one's done let's get into the next one So 
So for the second banner, it's going to be 970 by 300 pixels. And as you can see, I'm just adding another texture so that it's not just a plain white background. Another cool feature that Canva has is they have these shapes and as you can see they have this green and kind of sky format and that just means that it'll allow you to drag and drop an image that you have into that shape and it'll kind of auto crop into whatever shape it is. So with this image from the top I'll be able to drag and drop into that circle and you can resize within that shape as well. So if there's a certain aspect to your product that you want to highlight, you can definitely do so. Next, I'm just going to add a little infographic to explain what I'm actually highlighting in the image. So here is the final product for the second banner. All right, this is looking pretty good. Let's keep going. So the sizing for this banner is gonna be 970 by 600 pixels. Next, let's get the rectangle and resize it. Then I'm actually gonna position it and press backwards so that it kind of appears behind me. So now I'm adding a background that kind of relates to what I'm saying, right? I'm talking about being on the go. So I wanted to make it look like I'm kind of out in the city with the product. Now again, you may have to position it and put it farther back so that it appears behind both the text and um, me as well. Again, the background is blurred. We don't want the background taking away from the text, but also the rectangle that the text is in helps to deter that from happening. So here is just another quick view of the final product for the third banner. Perfect, we're almost done. All right, so now we're gonna do our smaller banners and these are generally 220 by 220 pixels. I'm gonna use a circle this time just so that we're doing something a bit different instead of the rectangles that we've been using and we're gonna put the text in there this time. Let's resize it and change it to the colors or rather the color blue that we've been using and then we'll use our main text. As well, just mention, I won't show myself doing every single one of these because there's like four and the process is extremely similar. And after you get to this point, you'll have a really good idea of what you're doing. And I'll also show you the final product with the EBC uh, towards the end of this video. Okay, and I think we're done. All right, so here is the final product of our EVC. As you can see, it looks pretty good. We've combined some infographic images with some lifestyle. As well, we have our smaller images here. And like I said earlier, we we're gonna be adding some text to them. So here you can see there's like a bullet point and then a little bit more elaboration on what each bullet point means. Everything seems to flow and everything just, it seems really engaging and dynamic. So I'm pretty happy with this. 
And yeah, that my friends is how you create an EBC for your product listing. I hope this can help you in creating your own. I think it's pretty good, but of course, if you want the best possible a content, it's always recommended that you get it done by a professional. At AMZ One Step, we can help you with all of your a content needs and more. I'll put a link in the description below and you can get in contact with us. If you found this video at all helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing because it helps out the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.